Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability. The world of concrete is underway at the Las Vegas Convention Center, cementing itself as a standard of the construction industry. Review Journal's James Schaefer has more. Well, the equipment has rolled in for World of Concrete 2022, where we've asked vendors what it's like to be back in Las Vegas. It's, I mean, it's just incredible to be here, to see all the people who are in my industry. Liz Nichols was set up outside the bustling convention hall outdoor exhibit, attending alongside Steel Edge Women. Nichols spoke with us about the importance of attending this industry convention, which brings all sorts from every walk of life, including that of female workers. There's such a sense of camaraderie within the construction industry, and to be here with all these women, with, we all have this so diverse, it's such a diverse group of people, but we all have this trade in common. It's, it's incredible. It just It feels so good. The Review Journal will have more from World of Concrete as the Brick Lane competition gets underway. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. And at Preview, Las Vegas state and local leaders said the future is bright for Las Vegas. Speakers highlighted the success of Allegiant Stadium, the upcoming 2024 Super Bowl, and the Fountain Blue Resort, also the MSG sphere at the Venetian. Spending is off the charts, and so we're seeing consumers spend money like crazy, and I'll use the analogy, they're like drunken sailors. When we look at how much is being spent relative to the number of visitors that are in this market. The Review Journal is owned by the family of Dr. Miriam Adelson, widow of Sheldon Adelson, and the majority shareholder of Las Vegas Sands Corp, which operates the Venetian Expo. The MSG Sphere is a project by Madison Square Garden in Las Vegas Sands. Now to more top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. We have an update on an officer involved shooting south of the Las Vegas Strip. Police say a woman approached officers at a gas station on January 12th asking for help. That's when they say her ex-boyfriend, 34-year-old Manuel Edwin Martinez, pointed a gun at them. Martinez was struck and fell to the ground. Officers called for additional units to take Martinez into custody. While the officers were developing a plan to take Martinez into custody, he stood up, looked around for a brief moment, and then fled on foot. Martinez was booked on multiple charges, including attempted murder of a police officer. A Cold War veteran, test site official, and museum founder, Troy Wade, passes away at the age of 87. Review Journal's Jen Ah has more on his legacy. Jen? Renee, his son says Troy Wade held no college degree and moved to Nevada as a minor in tunnels. But a few decades of blood, sweat and tears later, his natural leadership skills helped him rise through the ranks in Washington, D.C. as the U.S. Department of Energy Assistant Secretary for Defense Programs and former Deputy Manager of the DOE Nevada Operations Office. His colleagues call him the ultimate cold warrior with his insight on nuclear weapons. I was trying to walk across this bridge from, from using them as weapons to destroy people to using this as, as a um, means of doing something good. By helping to later establish the National Atomic Testing Museum in Las Vegas, Wade also brought to the spotlight our state's contributions during the Cold War at the Nevada test site. His son, Scott Wade, says his father died at his home Sunday. Wade leaves behind a daughter and two sons. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app and get a bonus up to $100 when you sign up. Former Bishop Gorman star quarterback Tate Martell is calling it a career. An official UNLV spokesperson confirmed with the Review Journal's Andy Yamashita that Martell, who was on the UNLV roster this past season, is retiring from football. Martell was a five-star prospect who began his college career at Ohio State before transferring to Miami and eventually ending up with the Rebels. He finishes his career 26 of 35 for 303 yards and one touchdown. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Green Bay Packers remain the Super Bowl favorites at the Westgate Superbook after the first round of the playoffs. The Packers are plus 325, followed by the Kansas City Chiefs at 4-1, and the Buffalo Bills and defending champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers at 5-1. The Los Angeles Rams and Tennessee Titans are next at 8-1. The San Francisco 49ers are 12 to 1, and the Cincinnati Bengals are 22 to 1. 
Now to your health news, mask mandates are returning to three Nevada counties. State officials say Eureka, Story and White Pine counties have had a high risk of COVID transmission for the past two weeks, according to CDC guidelines. And starting Friday, residents will be required to wear masks again in public indoor settings. The state's other counties were already under a mask mandate. Now it's time to take a look at your local weather forecast for the Las Vegas Valley. The rain has cleared out of the valley and sunny skies remain. Today highs will be around 64 degrees with light winds. Mostly clear tonight, winds topping about 10 miles per hour in some parts of the valley. Temps will sit around 43 degrees. For the rest of the week, sunny and clear. Thursday, we could see winds pick up to about 21 miles per hour during the day. Still highs all week will stay in the mid-60s. Evening lows in the mid to low 40s. In your lifestyle news, a former UNLV track star earns a spot on the U.S. Olympic bobsled team, completing the team and getting ready for the Winter Games in Beijing. The announcement came from Team USA earlier this week. Keisha Love made the four-woman team off to compete abroad next month. This will be her first Olympic experience, but according to NBC Sports, she and a fellow teammate, Sylvia Hoffman, received the most starts. Love graduated from UNLV last year and is considered one of the track program's all-time top athletes. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, the city of Henderson's Battle of the Bands is back and submissions are open. The bands must be from Southern Nevada and half of the members must be under 21 years old. Winners will get cash prizes and the opportunity to perform at Henderson's signature events like Hot Rod Day. And if you were looking forward to a Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight, you might be disappointed. Tyson responded to a tweet from the UK Sun saying he and Paul were in advanced talks for about worth about $50 million by saying, quote, this is news to me. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerhour. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. And if you're watching 7 at 7 on YouTube, don't forget to give us a like and hit that subscribe button down below. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.